Hello. Okay, so you may have been here a couple days by now. You may have watched the first video that's showing you how to get some free coins, okay? And that free coin is at this miner's gate. Now, what I'm going to talk about in this video is Bitcoin addresses, okay? How they work, how you send coins, what a fee is, all that sort of good stuff, okay? And I'm going to go pr pretty basic here. So if you watched the first video, you came to this uh, this site here where you download it, this Miner's Gate, Miner Gate program. And it starts running your computer and earning you some free coins. And one of the coins that I told people to look at and try and use is this Byte coin right here. I like Byte coin because they're very easy to mine. And they really don't lag your computer down because they're not memory intensive. They don't suck up all the RAM, unlike some of the other coins on here. So now we have Bytecoin. What do we do with it? Uh, we're going to want to send it, or this is what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to send some of it to an exchange. Now, I put some links down in the listing. <clears throat> There's not many exchanges that are allowing new people to sign up today because there's like a half million people a day trying to sign up for these things excuse me and they're getting overrun but luckily the sites I sent you to will let you make an account and that is this hit BTC let's go to the exchange Now, this is what we would call a crypto exchange. This is where we would come to exchange one type of crypto coin for another type of crypto coin. So, in other words, Bitcoin for Litecoin, or Litecoin for Ripple, or Doge coins, or Name coins, or Dash, or Tron, or there's thousands and thousands and thousands of coins, okay? And you would need to come to an exchange in order to trade one or the other. And if you play around on these, uh, you usually get pretty lucky. I usually get pretty lucky. It almost doesn't matter what you buy because everything has up days and, and down days. So this is an exchange. And the first thing we're going to want to do, because I'm doing this completely fresh, is there's no... I have no money in this account. When you first open an account, you log in, uh, there's no crypto in it. This is not one of the sites that will give you some free crypto. I had those listed, but they're causing an issue with giving away the free coins, so I'm not quite listing those anymore. If they come back up, I will. So here it shows our balance. Our balance is a whole bunch of zeros, right? It's loading them. As soon as it finishes loading, these are all going to disappear because it's trying to hide a zero balance. But right now it's checking through the system. And these are, let's see if I could scroll down or if it's going to take forever. Sometimes when I'm recording, uh, my computer slows down. So we could go all the way down here and try and find Bitcoin, which there it is, Bitcoin. Or any of these other coins. They basically all work the same. For this purpose, I'm going to illustrate with Bitcoin, but whether you're using Bitcoin or, or any of these other coins, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to come here to search, okay? Now when I search, I could search the name Bytecoin, but it's going to be easier if you start getting used to what those coins are actually called. And a Bytecoin, let's see if it says it right here, it should, I, no, 
Well, sadly, it doesn't. On your mining portal, it says it, the program you download it, but it calls a Bitcoin BCN. So we'll go B, C. See, and all we had to do was BC, and there's Bitcoin. And we can click on it. Or let's see if we can go Byte, B U Y. Yeah, see. So it doesn't matter how you search it, it'll find it. It knows what you're looking for. And then here's deposit and withdraw. We want to do a deposit. And on this site, we're going to do a withdraw. So we're doing a withdraw and a deposit all at once. First thing you need to know is where are you sending your coins, right? And that's where you come since we want to send them to this this site, or I want to in this example, this hit BTC, and I found the right coin, don't send them, right? If you click on any of these deposit addresses for any of the coins, it'll give you this long, ugly number, which is not human friendly. Look, I'll click on deposit here. You see this? 22MEXJV capital H A capital R, right? If you're going to try and type this, on the other side, you have to get every capital letter right. You have to get, yeah, don't even try it, okay? You either scan this, if you're using like a mobile wallet or something, you can get out your phone and you can scan this Q QR code and it should pop the address in there. Now I'm gonna give a warning about that. Many, many times I've scanned a QR code and it messes up a few letters and you got to scan it again not not on this site just in person in real life and uh, I'll show you in these okay. these are my cold storage wallets these are only uh, receiving keys there's no private key associated with these cards I keep the private keys in a safety deposit box but these public keys I carry with me if I'm somewhere and someone wants to give me some Bitcoin, I just pull this out of my pocket and I let them scan it and then they could send me my coin and it goes to my wallet. But I've had issues with these. Okay, You got to double check. Usually assist, the system will know because you can't just put in random letters and numbers. It has to have a certain checksum, which means that all the bytes, they, they do a mathematical test to it to make sure it's a correct address but some addresses overlap so you got to be careful anyway here is our deposit address so we would say copy it says it's copied now when you copy an address it's very important that you at least look at these first four letters this 22mx because there's programs that can get into your browser and it knows when you've copied a coin address and when you go to paste it, it pastes their address instead of your address. So don't get caught up with that. It's a little nasty virus that hides in the background sometimes for years and then will get you. But as long as you do that little bit of preemptive look to make sure, right? I usually look at the beginning and the end because uh, you could actually generate a wallet that had those four first letters pretty quickly if you were trying to do that to somebody, but having the same leading ones at the beginning and the end is damn near impossible. So I'll look at 22 and 3M just to make sure I'm copying and pasting the right thing. So here I'll go to withdraw. And it's asking for the wallet address. Let's go ahead and paste that in there. And that looks like the address. But notice it's a little longer than what I was looking at. So let's go over here and just make sure that this address was... Yes, it is. It keeps going, as you can see. So the address is actually longer than what I could see. And that is it. Now let's send 
160 right now. And then it's going to ask for the fee. Now, the fee, when you're dealing with one of these altcoins, is usually very negligible, okay? It's very much of nothingness. If you're dealing with Bitcoin, that's another story. Those fees are like 20 bucks as of today. They go up and down depending on the how much the system's clogged. We'll try and get into that in a later video. This is one is just trying to go slow as possible sending. Uh, payment ID. This is just where we can put a little message and we'll say hit BTC. That way I know where I sent it because I have I still have addresses from 2012, 2013 where I sent out some coin and I don't know where I sent it, right? I know I sent it somewhere, but they either don't exist anymore or I don't know, I lost it. So, withdraw by coin. Put the fee, we put the amount, we put the fee, we put the new address, and the note, that's usually all that's required. You don't even have to put in a note. That's optional. Just the amount, the address, and the fee. And hit withdraw. Payment ID must be a string of 64 hex characters. You know, I'm not really sure what the payment ID is on this. But we should just be able to do it with the wall address. So let's try this again. Withdraw. Withdraw successfully created. An email is sent to your address. Please find it, click it to follow the link to confirm. So. I have to find my email and click on the link. And this is just sort of a safety thing, so that way someone can't run up to your computer and send out your coins, right? They have to have access to your email. But it was that easy. Let's, uh, I'm not sure if I got to log into my email, so I am going to black you guys out of the background for just a moment but you can still see me I'm still here right I'm just checking to see that I'm already logged into my email because you never want to log into a site when you're recording a video or when you're live okay I mean just giving away the number of characters that's in a password is not a good thing okay let's go ahead and turn the background back on so you guys could see here so i was logged into my email and here's the message they sent me minor gate it says confirm withdrawal so we're just going to go ahead and click on that and it says hey you're trying to send 159 byte coins And if that's true, then we click here. If it's not true, there's a different little click on there and it'll like lock your account. So we click that. I'm not sure how quickly the Bitcoin network processes transactions. I would imagine within just a few minutes. Most of the altcoins are quick. So it's loading, and here you go. You could see that on this date, there was a withdrawal from me, and 160 BCN, and then we'd go over here. So this is where we were sending it to, right? To our hit BTC address. So what we'd want to do is just wait a few minutes. Uh, they will pop up. And then we could actually start trading with them. 
and this all cost it nothing, okay? You did not need any money to start trading in crypto. These crypto coins are free. Uh, Bitcoins aren't free, but Bitcoin used to be free. It was the exact same way. Back in 2011, there were there was nothing that you could really buy with crypto back at that time. So people would give away a whole Bitcoin just for you to visit their site. I think I seen one as high as five Bitcoins just so they could put those little tiny uh, Google ads in the corner and trying to make a penny off you. They were giving you a whole Bitcoin. Well, there's a lot of sites that do the same thing now. And all these coins, not every coin is going to be good. Okay. In fact, the majority of them will not be good. They will eventually fade out. But every now and then, some of them rise up. And I'll teach you how to see those. But we are looking at these bike coins because they're cheap coins. And cheap coins have a lot of upside, okay? The only way you're going to get a thousand or ten thousand or a hundred thousand percent increase is if you go with the cheap coin but not all cheap coins so go ahead and do this if you want uh, and this will allow you to trade around some stuff for free uh, once your coins get there which could take a little bit Usually no more than 10 minutes. Uh, you could start looking around and making some trades. Now this video was mostly about sending the funds. We've basically reached the point where those funds are sent. There's nothing more on our end we have to do. We're just waiting for what's called the blockchain to confirm. And I guess uh, we should talk about... The, uh, no, that's a little too advanced. Let's just, we'll get to that in another video. This was about what is a Bitcoin address, right? Or what is a crypto address? How do you send it from one site to another? If there's any questions, post them on this video or on the Facebook page. Uh, if I have to, I'll remake it so we could see some more and uh, give you an idea. My computer is... Uh, I don't know, I think it's got four cores, and I make about 20 of these byte coins a day off of a four computer core. And you could put this program on multiple computers to get those coins. So, the next video we'll talk about trading, and I'll start it off by showing where this transaction confirmed. And I'll actually make some trades with my byte coins. Uh, so we can see what it's all about. Okay. Until the next video.